Hi Instagrammers, Chef Colette here. I have vowed to try to do a tutorial every Sunday. So it's Sunday morning and this tutorial is all about peach hand pies. Now I hope you're as knee deep in your summer baking as I am. And quickly, and I'll say this a couple of times, um, the recipes are on my website at bakingwithcolette.com. That's bakingwithcolette.com. And you want to click on the tab Recipes and Blogspot. So what we're going to do today, this won't be a long tutorial because I know you're all busy, but I'm going to show you how to use the Pocket Pie Former. This is part of my series, Why Did I Buy This? I bought this Pocket Pie Former when I was teaching at Sur La Table on the weekends and I thought that this would make the cutest snacks. I also bought it for my future, my future grandma self, thinking that when I had many grandchildren, I would make them gorgeous hand pies for their lunches and all the other kids would be jealous. Anyway, this is still available and there's a link to where you can get one of these on, um, on, on my website. Okay, so my dough is already made and it's been resting in the refrigerator for about two hours because we want it good and cold. And just to show off, look at the beautiful layers in this dough. I talk about this in the, in the recipe on how you can achieve those beautiful layers in your flaky pie dough. Perfect timing, right, for all those summer pies. I got a comment that one of our viewers was getting 25 pounds of peaches in, so I would say this timing is perfect. Okay, flour down on your table, and then your dough. Now I'm gonna roll this into a rectangle, so I chilled my dough into, uh, in a rectangle. Flour on top. I own about 25 rolling pins, so if you see different pins coming in and onto the screen, it's because they all like to get used. Okay, so now keeping the flour close by, I'm going to put what I don't need behind me. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is take my big pin, and those of you who watch my craftsy classes know I'm a tapper. Gently dough, though, gently though on the dough because we don't want to shatter the butter. All right, make sure the dough can move. If it sticks, it's going to be bad. Okay. Oh, BTW, I will save this. Last Sunday, I forgot. Okay, I gently tap to a half inch, and now I'm going to use my perfection strips. These are a game changer. You can find them on Amazon. You can find them, you can find them different places. You could DIY your own, but I love them. And if you can't find them, just go to the paint store, get a yardstick cut in half. That's a quarter inch, you're close. For a hand pie, it's a double layer, okay? So we want our, our we don't want a thick hand pie, so each layer of dough should be one eighth of an inch thick, which is what this per perfection strip is. So I use it like tracks. You know, think of your pin as the train. Back and forth, make sure you're not sticking. Oops. I hope it's beautiful weather wherever you are and any dads watching, happy Father's Day. All right, enjoy your day. Okay, I'm gonna fold this because I want you to see what the thickness is. It's a perfect eighth of an inch, all right? That's why I just love these per perfection strips. 
unless you have a dough sheeting machine in your kitchen, they are great. All right. So this little hand pie cutter, I mean, these are under $10. They're really inexpensive. The outside of it is your cutter, and then it's the form is inside. But here's the deal. The, as it cuts, this the rectangle it's going to cut is actually a little bit on the small side. So we end up rolling it out with a rolling pin, or we can cut around it um, at the get-go. But what I usually do is roll them out. So take your cutter and just <clears throat> press down. Really press down, okay? And then again, press down. The full recipe will yield about 12 hand pies. Now, if you don't have this dealio, you know, like if you haven't bought a ton of crazy baking equipment, you just use an index card as a template and cut them with a pastry wheel. All right, so three more. Okay, all right. So now I'm gonna get rid of the scraps and we can reuse our pie scraps, so don't ball them up. All right. Just kind of line them up. Set them off to the side, okay? And here we have rectangles of dough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my small rolling pin. This would be number 33 of the 35 rolling pins. And I'm just gonna roll them out. And this is nice too because it rolls them a little bit thinner. You can also, don't faint. We're, I'm going to bake these, but you could deep fry them if you have like deep fryer capacity. All right, so I just flatten them out a little bit more. My peach filling is done, and the recipe for that is on the website. Recipe and Recipes and blog post is the tab. And by the way, this will be my second to the last episode of Why Did I Buy This, which is a series I started for fun. I honestly thought maybe like, QVC would come knocking and say, hey, that's a great idea. What a fun idea for people to use all the, you know, crap they buy. Can you say that on Instagram? I'm sorry, Instagram. Maybe they'll find me five bucks. All right. So now let me see some comments. Everybody's watching. Nice to see you guys. Thank you. So when this doohickey is opened up, it looks like this. It's really convenient. If you have to do production, which I was thinking for those long ago Sur La Table classes, if I had pie dough and if I had filling, I could make hand pies really quick and then serve it to my students. If anybody remembers the Sur La Table classes, please put a note in the comments. All right, so now, here's the rest of my mise en place. I have our five-star egg wash, which is one egg beaten up with a pinch of salt until it's really well beaten. And I have Chef Baker to thank for this five-star egg wash. And then the peach filling. And you want, when you make, when you make something like hand pies with a fruit filling, you want to make sure you have a serrated spoon because um, we, don't, we, want, we don't want a ton of liquid in our hand pies. Okay, so you can all see, I'm looking at my screen and I can see, so you guys can see. And the flat side facing up, and you wanna make sure that it's, it's over the edge a little bit. Now I want a good seal, so I'm gonna brush my edges. 
Okay. Also make sure that it's um, lining the bottom of the mold. So if I didn't have a mold, I, I'll show you how to do one without a mold because you might be thinking, I don't have that mold, crazy lady. How do I make these without a mold? You can also use, uh, sometimes hand pies are circular and you can, you can use a large cutter for that. All right, that is the perfect amount of filling. I'm just going to tilt it up toward the camera so you all can see. And then I'm going to put another square of dough on top and kind of press around the filling, press out the air pockets. Then I'm going to just activate the press. And you're going to press. If you have one of these, maybe it's in your baking box, maybe it's in your cupboard. Okay? And that's it. And then I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to tidy it later. I'll do one more in the press, then I'm going to do one um, without the press. So. But we buy a lot of stuff. Please put in the comments your craziest purchase for baking equipment. Well, maybe not crazy, but... And some stuff we use all the time and some stuff we don't. Last week I talked about the tart pan that I thought would save my marriage. It did not. All right, filling. But you know, hope springs eternal, right? So let's recap. Rectangle of dough, line the mold, plop in your filling, egg wash the edge, grab another rectangle of dough, drop it, Okay, line everything up, take your press, and you don't have to spray or flour the press or do anything. This is fine. It will pop out. And you can just, you can just do that. But I like to have the pretty edge up. All right. So these look a little bit like a hot mess, but I'm going to fix it. Okay. Now, let's say you just have rectangles of dough. That's totally fine. So we need pastry wheel. I apologize for turning my back on you, but we needed a fork. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we have to be a little careful because we don't have the convenience of the mold. So you're gonna put filling in the middle. Don't overfill, guys. I know it never, it's like, how can that be enough filling? Trust me, it can. Okay, dokie. Now, we're going to paint the edges. Then, whoops. Now, as I look at the top rectangle, it's not going to fit on top. So I just grabbed my little rolling pin. If you have one of those little fondant rolling pins, like maybe from uh, Sugar Flower Adventures, they work really well too. All right, and then we're going to press the edges and then trim. Oh, thank God the refrigerator turned off. My little kitchen studio works great, but man, that refrigerator is loud. So as you just saw, I trimmed the edges. I have a prepared pan. I have an old silk hat on there, but that's what they're good for. And I'm going to um, just drop this one on the pan. Now let's do some tidying. Again, pastry wheel. I'm going to just go around the edge, trim off the excess. So because our freeform one, we don't have this pretty rippled edge, we're going to get that with the fork. If you have a crimper, you could use that too. Talk about a, why did I buy this piece of equipment, a crimper. Don't always use that. Okay, I'm going to make sure you can see, okay, 
just going to cut along the pretty edge there. Hand pies are so much fun. They're so rustic and they're just super cool. All right, let me get my mess out of the way. Again, don't overhandle scraps because then you can use them. We're almost done. Whoops. So for this one, I'm going to take the fork and I'm going to seal. Great. All right. Now we're going to egg wash and I have a jar of sanding sugar. You could use granulated sugar just to make them really pretty. Egg wash. This five star egg wash is my favorite. I teach it to all my students. One egg and a pinch of salt beaten up until it's super smooth. You can take the extra step and strain it. It's a little gilding the lily straining it, but oh, it goes on like glass. Okie dokie. You know what? When you egg wash, be meticulous. Really take that time. I felt like I'd been a little like quick, too quick. Then the sugar goes on top. These do need to be vented because the baking processes will kick in. I have to be educational at some point, right? And I'm going to stab my hand pies, make three slits just like that. And these are going to go in a 425 degree oven. And in my oven, they took 26 minutes. Now, let me put these. Oh, and by the way, you could get them this far and chill them. And then because it's best to bake them when they're cold so that the, fl the pastry is extra flaky. All right. Table's a little messy. I'm going to just do a quick wipe. All right. And uh, then... I'm going to show you what they look like when they're done and I'll answer a few questions and we'll close out the tutorial and I will let you go back to your day. I really appreciate everybody watching. I absolutely love going live. I could do this every single day. All right, so here we go. Here they are on the rack and they're really pretty. Look at that bake. It's really nice. I could have taken them a shade or two darker, but I was like, nah, that's enough. Now, next, I'm gonna just leave the screen for a second. Have to use a cutting board. I'm gonna cut one in half and show you the beautiful layers. There we go. Isn't, mmm, it smells divine. I'm gonna save one of these for dessert tonight and the rest will go to my neighbor. So that's it. That is today's tutorial. Why did I buy this? The pocket pie former. Um, I can't imagine anyone putting a pie in their pocket, but I guess it's possible. And as I said in my in, as I said halfway through, if you wanted to deep fry these like McDonald's does, secret, that's why those pies are so good. You could do it. All right. So that's it. Let me see some questions or comments. Um, oh, somebody just tuned in. This was the peach hand pie tutorial, which I will save and I will put. Hopefully it will appear in my, um, what do we call it guys, our stream, our, our stuff, our IGTV, and if you just tuned in, you can check it out later. And recipes on the blog at bakingwithcolette.com, 
the tab is blog posts and recipes. So anything Patty's saying, thank you, Patty, you're welcome. All right, you guys, um, I am going to uh, sign off. I'll just maybe 10 more seconds in case there's a question. I feel like you liked it. Lots of waves, lots of, uh, so yeah. Let me know in the comments if you want me to keep doing this because I love it. All right, guys.